Okay everyone so now we are learning the MDI form MDI stands for multiple document interface whenever we are having a form which is parent and inside that we are having the one or more child forms that is called the MDI form now here we have taken the example where is one parent and one child so for that we need two forms one is the MDI parent and one is the MDI child so to work with that first of all we have taken one form this is form 1 Now here we change the text of the form which is MDI parent. Now afterward we are going on the form and double click at any place. Then afterward this code will open. Here it is having the class form one. So for the form one class is created, which is of public type. It can be accessed outside. It is ending with the end class. And because we clicked on the normal form. so form load coding will open form load coding will work whenever the form is loaded means when we click on the start debugging button or start the project then the form load code work now here it is sub that means no return type then afterward we are having form underscore load that is the name of procedure private because it cannot be accessed outside it is only the part of form it is ending with the end sub it is having the two arguments which are passed by the system and it is going to handle my base dot load that means whenever this form one is loaded at this time this code will execute now in the form one we dragged and dropped one menu strip so this is the menu strip which is available with the help of menu strip we can create the menu but we don't want the menu we singly want one icon on which we click and afterward the child will open so here we name that that is show and we double click on that so one code is also available in the form 1 so this is form 1 this code will be available whenever we click on the show then afterward this code will execute this is private because this is the part of form 1 and sub no return type ending with the end sub this is mdi tool strip menu item underscore click so when somebody click on the show then afterward this code will open it is having the two arguments 1 and 2 and is going to handle mdi tool strip menu item dot click so whenever somebody click on this show then afterward this code will execute now afterward we are taking another form so here is another form which is the form 2 we want that there should be some child of form 1 so this is form 2 we have created we will simply right click on the project then add a new form here this is form 2 and change the text that is mdi child then after that we dragged and dropped one label this is label 1 and we change the text that is ankit varma i have given my name anywhere on the form 2 we double click and then form 2 code will open here is the public class form 2 public means it can be accessed outside class for form 2 is created now after it is ending with the end class as we double clicked on this form 2 so this form 2 load coding will also be available so whenever this form will be loaded that means form 2 will be loaded onto the environment then form 2 underscore load will run automatically so here we are having private because it is a part of form 2 then sub it is ending with the end sub that means no return type form 2 underscore load this is the name of procedure two arguments are passed here then after it is going to handle my base dot load so whenever form 2 will load then this code will execute now we want that this form should be the child that means it should be the mdi child and we want that the parent of child will be form 1 so we want that this should be the parent now to be as a parent we should write certain code so if you want that form 1 should be the parent of other forms then there in the form load we are going to write the code for the form 1 that is me me means on which form we are doing this coding it is form 1 so we are talking about form 1 so me dot is mdi container means can i be the father true yes i am the container i am the father so by this code we are representing that the form 1 is the father similarly to be a child we has to do the code if you want that form 2 should be a child then in the form load in form 2 we has to do the coding that me we are doing this coding in form 2 so me representing the 
active form which is form 2 so form 2 is saying me mdi parent means who is my father who is my parent equal to form 1 so form 1 is my parent so here child says that my parent is form 1 so this is how we have done the coding parent is ready to be the parent and child is saying that my parent is form 1 so similarly if we are having multiple forms means multiple childs then every child will be writing this my parent is form 1 my parent is form 1 so all the childs will be added to the form 1 and form 1 will be the parent of all now we are going to see that how this code will work whenever we just start the project then afterward this form 1 will be loaded into the environment then afterward form load coding will work here it is saying that me dot is mdi container equal to true so this line will work that means form 1 is now ready to become the parent now afterward there is a menu item which is show so we click on that after clicking on that this menu item procedure will be called and here it is saying that form 2 dot show so here with the help of this show we are going to call this form 2 so we are going to show this now whenever this form 2 is going to load at the same time in the form loading there is a coding available that is me dot mdi parent means my parent is form 1 so here it is saying that my parent is form 1 so when this code will execute afterward the resultant window will be like this here mdi child will be coming inside we can see that this is under the boundaries of form 1 so here the outer body is form 1 and inside we are having is form 2 so this is the mdi parent and child relation so we can say that the form 1 is acting like the parent right now and here form 2 is acting like the child right now now here this is mdi parent parent can be one inside that there are multiple childs but right now we have taken only one child this child is independent if we are going to cross it it will cross but mda parent will exist but if we are going to cross the parent child will also be crossed so this is how we can create the parent child relation using the mdi forms so that is all about the multiple document interface or mdi forms